<clears throat> having some matcha green tea today. I drink matcha because it has a ton of antioxidants. It has a really powerful antioxidant called EGCG, which is a cancer fighter. And some chlorophyll, lots of really, really good things in there. Vitamin C, blah, blah, blah. I drink it a little bit warmer than room temperature, so I just put sprinkle some of the powder in there. Put some room temperature water in, then I'm going to add some warmer water to warm this up. Morning! <laughs> My water's boiling, so I'm going to just take this water, pour some in to warm it up. I got nice warm tea. It's oh, good. I like it, um, this kind of weakness. I mean, I kind of like it a little bit weak. It just tastes like water, really. It doesn't really taste like that much. Um, and you get a lot of really great antioxidants. See the green? I really like to have these kinds of um, rituals that I do, like the tea. I like to do tea a lot. Kind of keeps me on track, and in the morning when I go, hmm, what should I have? I can always go, I'll have some tea first. Get some really good antioxidants in there. Whether I'm having green tea or red tea or any other kind of tea, I really like mint teas, stuff like that. But it's nice, especially this time of year, to have a warm um, kind of ritual. It makes you feel safe and cozy and warm. And then in the summer more, I like to have smoothie kind of ritual where I always make a smoothie and I put the green tea in there as well. Um, so just a suggestion about maybe having a routine like this that you can always fall back on. I've been getting into the habit of falling back on this tea routine when I can't think of what to have. Um, and I'm kind of craving a little bit. I think it has helped a little bit. Of course, I, I don't do perfectly every day. and I mean, I rarely do perfectly ever. But, um, but this is a nice thing to fall back on. And by the way, if you don't know this, this tea, I... Oh, look, I cut myself. Um, <laughs> I make mistakes in the kitchen, too. I cut myself while I was chopping a um, yellow pepper the other day, just a little bit. But this green tea that I have here, this matcha powder, if you've never heard of matcha before, it's just, um, you can see the really, really fine powder. It's just ground up tea leaves, ground up green tea leaves and processed in a way that retains a lot of the nutrients versus drinking regular green tea. Matcha green tea has... 10 times more antioxidants than regular green tea. So um, it's a really, really good thing to have just to get an extra boost of antioxidants. Matcha is. Um, but if you get it at Starbucks or things like that, they tend to add a lot of sugar and, um, and uh, stuff like that. So um, if you have a powder like this at home, you can make your own and just have a real easy way of having a nice antioxidant-filled drink. And the, the quality of the matcha that I have on my website is the best possible quality you can have. It's organic. It's certified organic by um, five different organizations around the world, including Japan, the EU, etc., cetera, um, the U.S. And um, my friend's family makes it. That's a picture of her. Her name is Izumi. <laughs> she lives in Florida. And her family, where she grew up on the farm, um, they are the ones that grow the tea and harvest it. So... Uh, it's a really cool business, small business to support if you're interested in having matcha tea. Um, and it's a really great price too compared to like what you could get at Tiavana. The price is amazing. It's like a quarter of the price or um, three quarters of the price or something like that. So you get a really, really good um, quality. You're buying from a family and it's my friend. So if you're interested, um, I always put a link for the matcha tea down below. Um, so I'm going to go have my little drink here. I have a really cool plan for lunch today. I've been sort of thinking through it all day yesterday, so I'm going to um, make this new salad thing for lunch. But I, I, um, I've been going into my freezer lately and thawing out soups that I had from a while ago. So I had these soups from April, and I just had... I just... You know, you guys know I finished. I think I think I have a whole other bag of the cabbage soup that I made, but today I thawed out um, this lentil soup that I had made in April, 
You guys, oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna have this for lunch along with the new salad that I'm making. And I think I remember how I made this. So I am gonna have to put that recipe up because I, just from the smell of thawing it out, oh my God, it's a lentil soup. So excited to share it with you and show you guys what it is. Um, and then I'm gonna have the, some fancy new salad today. So I'll see you guys later. Starting off with a persimmon as an appetizer for my lunchy poo. All right, lunch is served. So excited, this is a lentil soup that I thawed out from months ago. And then this is a huge bowl. Arugula and romaine is all on the bottom, tons of it. Peas, green onions, red jacket potatoes minus the jacket, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, roasted broccoli and Brussels sprouts, avocado, quinoa, roasted garlic, tomatoes. Yum! I'm going to add a little bit of salt and some lemon juice and mix this all up. And then I'm going to eat it. Amazing. Going to have some chocolate brownie bites I made yesterday for dessert. Leftover hot chocolate from when we went to Lake Tahoe plus almond milk. Alright, I'm having another cup. Yay, yay. So this is what happens when you work from home and you don't ever see anybody and you don't look in the mirror and smile ever and you never smile at anyone else during the day because um, six hours later... <laughs> Do I have something in my teeth? No? Okay, great. Hey guys. All right, quick announcement. It is your last chance to enter the fall festivities contest on realtor.com on their community page to win $2,000 Whole Foods gift card or $1,000 Whole Foods gift card or $500. Um, super amazing prizes, you guys, and I think the chances are really good of you being able to win. It's so easy. All you have to do is make a recipe, post it on their a uh, little community board and tell why this recipe is special to you. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you get bonus points if you use one of my recipes. So I'm going to put a link for that down below. Again, sign up for it. The contest ends on the 28th. So that's coming up. If you make something really special for Thanksgiving tomorrow, just take a picture of it and you can easily enter. Uh, okay. So make sure you enter, you guys. Seriously, if I could enter, I would. If you don't have a Whole Foods near you, I think they're doing substitutions, so you don't have to worry about whether or not you have a Whole Foods. Just sign up. Okay, you have just a couple days left, and good luck. Sleepy tea, sleepy tea. I think it's working. I think it works, actually. Help me fall asleep.